Hey guys, normally in my videos I try to be like super upbeat and really get you guys pumped for the video and, and for the build. But this one, man, this, this project, now I saw it online a few months ago and I, uh, I wanted to build it and I'll actually post a link to the video in the description. I thought, oh, this would be a nice and easy, easy project to do. Uh, I was wrong. I struggled a lot on this one. This one, well, this one took a lot out of me. So, uh, let's get dusty. Add some good apple juice. Trying on a new camera, uh, already dying, probably not the best sign, but right now I have the barrel shape going. By that I mean I have the circle part of the barrel. Uh, I'm going to bring it over the table saw, I'm going to try to rip some uh, some angle into it to kind of give it that more of a barrel shape because the barrels aren't straight up and down. So hopefully we can do that before the camera dies. I've got the barrel now built and assembled. Now I need to figure out how I'm going to store the liquid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just make my own PVC container to hold it. Um, so all I'm going to do is I took and I cut 12 inches, 10 inches. I cut 10 inches out of a 2 inch PVC pipe and that will hold a complete pint of liquid which is just over half of a fifth so that'll work now <clears throat> I took a cap and I took a threaded piece of PVC and uh, I drilled the hole got it through sealed it up so that will go on here and then I got the tap itself which is just a nice brass faucet which will then go on through we'll go through the barrel there and then to make sure so you can always refill it what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece on the end here and then you'll have a screw cap which will allow you to fill and unfill, well, to fill, yeah. Salt. 
together now. I've got the uh, little contraption in the back. Um, I still got to figure out how to actually secure that in the back, but I'm going to throw some water in there, check for leaks. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I probably should have made this little tube a little longer, but uh, we'll see what happens here. Oh, yeah, pour water everywhere. That's a good idea. Cap on the back. Okay, now see if it works or not. And if we're good, then you just some water there we'll see what happens I have water in right now and I think it's actually holding the water but I don't know because everything got wet when I decided to spill stuff and had other leaks so we're gonna hope that I got that fixed I think I'm gonna have to wait and let everything dry off but first I got some more stuff that I can do so we'll do that first So this project has officially been in a complete nightmare. Um, all my saw blades were dull, so I dealt with that because I didn't have time to run to the store. Had to run back to the store anyway because my fittings weren't right. Uh, couldn't find the right fitting for my main idea, which I was going to just hook up an actual bottle of liquor to this and call it good. Couldn't find the right fitting size. Had, thought I could go this route. Um, ended up having a lot of air well, a lack of air to get a good flow, so I drilled a hole, and then I just couldn't stop the leaks. I, I tried to get this leak to stop, and doing that, I caused this leak to be worse, and um, uh, I'm just giving up on this canister dispenser idea, but because I have hours and hours into this, I'm going to do something different. Let's do it. Alright guys, so the whiskey barrel holder dispenser thing is done. It took me a lot longer than I wanted and I had to do a bunch of redesigns on it which I wasn't too pleased with, but I am pleased with how it turned out. I do think it's really cool and though it doesn't disperse the uh, whiskey like I wanted, it does hold two shot glasses and a full bottle. You just slide it in the back and there is a, a back to it, you put that on there and no one is the wiser so I am really happy with how it turned out even though it might not be exactly what I was looking for so hope you enjoyed this one and uh, if you did subscribe this one was a pain in the butt to make appreciate you guys watching it and we'll see you next time oh thanks Steve yeah family getting together for the holidays is, is great yeah Couple hours, hang out, have some lunch, go off, and then, uh, yeah, feels good. The whole day? Oh, we're. This is a whole day thing with family? The whole family for the whole day? No, no, that. No, that sounds. Sounds uh, pretty cool. Mm. And, um. Uh,
Aunt Mildred just texted me. I didn't know she texted either. She said uh, lunch is ready, so we can go up and get it. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm actually I'm gonna go to the bathroom first, so uh, I'll meet you up there. Yeah. Family the whole day. No, we're gonna need some of this. Yeah, no, I'm heading right up. Just had to take a quick leak there. Yeah, no. We'll uh, be, be right up.